So now let's look at collocations, a word list, and things like that in Sketch Engine. Uh, in word list, you have several options. So you can either uh, search uh, by word. These are the default options. And uh, when the word list is produced, you can examine the most frequent words of your corpus. Now, as you can see, this word list begins with function words such as the, of, and, in, and so on. But still, even on this list, you can look at the most frequent um, content words, and this gives you an impression of the quality of your corpus. So, if the content words aren't what you had expected, perhaps your corpus should be corrected. Uh, normally, you, when for term purposes, you are more interested in the nouns because terms are most frequently nouns. So you can change the search attribute to tag, and then specify uh, nouns in the filter option. But then you also have to change the output attribute to a lemma, so that you will basically get um, a frequency ordered list of. Um, nouns or noun lemmas in your corpus. Now this is already quite useful for terminology purposes. As you can see, uh, you have uh, basically keywords, um, single word terms typical for cars such as cars, limestone rock, cave, Karen, and so on. If you're interested in exploring a certain word in context, you can click on the P and you will get a concordance uh, of that a particular term so it will be easier for you to decide whether uh, this uh, is uh, in fact a term or not. Uh, the next thing we'll look at are concordances. So you can access concordances by simply clicking on search and in simple query mode uh, the, uh, um, the, the query will display uh, all forms, uh, so all, uh, all the words with a limestone as lemma. Um, what you, you usually want to do is some sort of sorting of the concordance. So now I've employed a left sort, which means that the left neighbor of your um, a query term uh, will be alphabetically sorted. Now, if you jump to A, you will get the um, uh, first uh, neighboring word on the left beginning with A. Uh, this can be useful for terminology purposes because an ordered concordance will already show or reveal certain uh, patterns or phrases such as uh, bedded limestone or bioclastic limestone. Um, now, British limestone is perhaps not so relevant for terminology, but carboniferous limestone certainly is. Uh, uh, coastal limestone, compact limestone, coral limestone, uh, and uh, similar. Uh, to do the same thing on the right side uh, of the concordance, uh, will basically help you find uh, terms or multi-word terms with limestone as modifier. So you will find things such as limestone bed, limestone bedrock, uh, limestone beds in plural, limestone blocks, uh, and other multi-word terms uh, where limestone um, is used in the uh, attributive function. Um, there is actually a function which uh, helps you uh, find frequent words uh, in the uh, concordance or it will help you find uh, collocation candidates. Uh, for, for terminology purposes, it's usually a good idea to limit the context, so not to look at a very broad window because you're mostly in, in, interested in contiguous 
uh, multi-word terms. So here, uh, basically, uh, what we see is a similar similar information as before, only in the vertical format. So we have things like carboniferous uh, limestone, um, bare limestone, massive limestone, uh, crystalline limestone, uh, and similar. And again, if you'd like to see. Uh, how a certain word collocates with limestone, you can click on the P and a concordance will be displayed uh, so that uh, you can make a more relevant judgment of the termhood of a certain phrase. So now that we go back to the concordance, we're going to do the same thing for the right hand side of the keyword. Uh, now I've limited it to just one word to the right of the uh, query term. So now we get everything that occurs with limestone as attributes, so li limestone pavement, limestone dissolution, limestone weathering, limestone bedrock limestone formation uh, and similar. A very handy thing is that a Sketch Engine already uh, contains a function which will show all such relevant combinations. Uh, this is called the word sketch uh, and it will uh, catch the context of your query word to the left, to the right, but it will be ordered into um, grammatical or syntactical functions. So you can find all the modifiers of limestone like we've seen before, uh, just that now this information is combined uh, on a single screen. You can look at uh, both modifiers and limestone as modifier. You also see verbs that have limestone as object, uh, prepositional phrases with limestone, uh, and so on. Now uh, we will also look at the most relevant function for us, so the inbuilt uh, keyword and term extraction facility of Sketch Engine. So I clicked on keywords and terms and uh, the single and multi-word terms are extracted uh, using the techniques that we've discussed in the previous unit. Uh, so uh, they are ordered by the keyness score um, and uh, as you can see you have a separate list of single word and multi-word terms. Uh, for multi-word terms uh, the extraction is based on a term grammar which is specified for uh, each uh, language um, uh, separately. Uh, the words marked in green were the words that we used in our initial uh, web bootcat session, so when we were comp compiling texts from the internet. You can also change some extraction options such as the reference corpus, which is used for the uh, computation of, key, uh, of the keyness score. Uh, you can also um, limit the minimum frequency or limit the number of keywords to be extracted. Uh, so if you want to get more results, you will simply increase this number uh, and also modify the reference corpus used for the term extraction. Um, finally, if you would like uh, to perhaps um, look at uh, one, some, one of, the, uh, of the terms in, in context, you can simply click on its frequency and you will uh, reach uh, the concordance of this term. Uh, you can also look at uh, uh, the Wikipedia article for any of the words and you can save the single word and the multi-word list in uh, 
in Excel format in comma separated values uh, format, uh, which is again very practical if you want to validate those lists. The checkboxes in front of the terms are meant for a web bootcat. So, for example, if you would like to uh, improve your corpus with some of the words that you find uh, in the extracted keywords, uh, you can simply click them and uh, a next uh, web bootcat session will be started uh, so that additional text will be retrieved from the web which can then be uh, added to your corpus.